Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Free Laboratory Pack. Now, first thing to note with this one, made Jimmy unhappy, there's no demo scene. But that doesn't deter from the fact that these are some fairly nice assets. So, the folders are laid out exceedingly nicely, as I always like to see. And quantity-wise, there isn't too much to speak of. It is exactly what it says. It's laboratory equipment. And if we look at it, I'd say they are fairly decent as well. I think they're quite well made. Shader is obviously uh, glass, or rather it's a standard one, uh, kind of made for glass. So it's just kind of right there. Take a look, it's transparent. Uh, obviously this one's got a bit of a red tint. Uh, very nice assets, I think, overall. They do appear to be a tad on the small side, but again, that doesn't mean anything these days because you can always increase the size. Uh, it is fairly nice quality-wise. Yep, it is about what you'd expect. Quantity, we only get these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets. That's all we get. So there's nothing really in the way of uh, extras, apart from possibly you could count the shader as uh, an extra. Uh, textures for a couple of different things. It seems as though there may have been a scene, maybe at some point, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we've got a kind of a liquid there as well for one of the, uh, well, I say one of them, I guess it could be for any of them really, couldn't it? I guess you're not restricted on what you could do. Uh, so, yeah, turn the liquid on. There we go. So we've got some liquid in there. And that's the, sh that, that would be used with the shader as well. So yeah, I think it's, Fairly decent. Quantity wise, maybe could do with a little bit more. Price, free. Can't beat free. Free is always worth a look. Size is just under 5 megabytes, which I'd say is fairly decent. That's not going to break the bank or destroy anything, is it really? I mean, even if you're aiming for mobile devices, I'd say that's still a very good size. Um, usefulness, well, if you're making some kind of laboratory, if you're making a, I don't know, laboratory in Resident Evil, then yeah, you'll probably find something in here which will be of use. And even if you're not, you may find something useful like these pipettes and uh, whatever else. They may come in useful for something in one of your games. So just be mindful that a lot of assets contain stuff that you wouldn't expect to find in there. So they may be somewhat useful somewhere else. Uh, customizable, obviously. Uh, most assets are. Uh, we could always, I don't know, Let's go to this flask. Uh, maybe actually we'll go to this one because it's a little bit bigger. And I guess you could always change the glass on there if you wanted to give it a red tint, make it completely uh, opaque if you wanted to do what you wanted. I, I guess there's no real set way of changing things. You can work around this. You can play around with it, do whatever you need to. Um, but ultimately, I think it's an okay asset. It could be better, obviously, but... You know, there's you get what you're given, and it does state that they are laboratory packs. So yeah, if you work with a laboratory, then yeah, take a look. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets; I either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this if not really for creating a game or anything like that. It's just maybe these are great little extra assets to add into a game. And if you are making a laboratory style somewhere in the game, then yeah you'll probably find something useful in this asset package. So, guys, let me know. Have you used this asset? What do you think of this asset? Uh, if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well. I'd love to check it out because that's what I'm doing here, checking out assets and reviewing them. Um, so, yeah, don't forget, click subscribe, guys. Click the bell icon as well. Step up to date with everything about game development on my channel. And, guys, thank you very much for watching.